action. Here we are, pretty solid from the outside. Got uh, the base of the windshield doesn't really have a lot of rust. Um, a little over here, no holes or anything. Um, the seals, yeah, they're showing their age. Uh, just a few little character spots. Uh, looks like there may have been a spare tire holder here on the front at one time, so we've got some holes. A little bit of denting on the uh, drip rail here. A little bit of rust on the top of the door. I actually kind of really like this. <laughs> and uh, along here, this is sort of polished from use, which is a nice feature I like. A dent here from years and years ago, obviously. A little bit of rust. <clears throat> Body seams, you know, they're good. They're not rotting out or anything. We've got, you know, bubbling a little bit, little bits of rust here and there. So, you know, a little bubbling here. That's covered in a bit more detail in the underside video. Back behind the bumper here, there's a couple of rust holes. Just where that battery tray area kind of may have collected some water at one time. tops they the vinyl here is just really old and tight and starting cr to crack in some places um, so we don't really use them but the mechanicals are essentially all there if you wanted to try and uh, make some new vinyl or figure out some other solution there the possibility certainly exists uh, it'd be kind of cool to open them but leave them closed. Uh, along the side here, uh, well, just some rust again that's pretty well covered in the uh, underside walk around. So on to the inside. This seems to be a popular spot for people to show uh, under this little floorboard here. Yeah, we got some rust. Uh, floor. There's no like holes or anything here. Just, you know, maybe if you really stripped it down, there might be some porosity. Uh, got the nice bamboo shelf. Somebody added a tachometer at one time. The most of the steering and dash and everything is stock. Uh, there's a hole there below the stereo, and the stereo itself is not functional. It's just sort of a placeholder. Uh, there is a some somewhat of a sound system here. Just a jack you can plug into your phone and then we've got a little amp in here uh, which just turns on by the rear defrost uh, so you can plug your phone into that or iPod or whatever and there's some computer speakers down there we don't often use it because we prefer the sweet sounds of the road this is a swivel seat which I forgot to Put that in the description. Which we got out of a camper, and that's all it's an OE piece. And other way. Yep. Well, you gotta fold down the buckle, right? Yeah. Make sure you fold down the buckle. There we go. The sliding door. Uh, it's a little gritty. 
pretty good. Just got to do it with purpose. All the door locks work. In here, we have the second row, which will include. This is the Z bed, which was made out of an original Westy Z bed. You know, all the mechanical stuff, uh, brackets, and everything we took apart and powder coated, and then made into a wider. This is about a queen size width here. The foam is thicker than your average Westy foam, and it's all brand new. Well, it was brand new when we did it a few years ago, uh, but pretty comfortable. Um, that folds down like any other Z bed, and then you're ready to sleep in comfort. area obviously the rear defrost doesn't work because uh, the switch is used for the stereo system but we took the spare out I don't believe I have that any longer but there is a spare compartment and we put some sound absorption mat uh, on the engine area just to kind of keep the noise down and the engine bay here I talked about this in the uh, the underside walk around, but there it is. And that's about it for the exterior walk around.